Okay, gentlemen, uh, I've just started recording, so we'll begin. Uh, can you start at the top? Sultan al Nazi, hands up, gentlemen, everybody. Alt Y. We can uh, see your screen. Oh, well, that that is uh, an important thing to do, right? How about now? You see it now? Yes. 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 All right, Sultan. Uh, distinct, uh, distinct uh, subject and object uh, pronouns. Ah, that's a big word. Do you know this word? Uh, Does anyone yeah. know this word? Yeah. yeah. What does it mean? To define or know thing, you can see it and know it. Don't you say in Arabic, you may use? Yeah, yeah, you may use, yeah. Yeah. What does that say? Yes. yes. It's yeah. Is it the right word? Yeah. Yeah. Allah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we want to distinguish. We want to distinguish subject versus object. There is a difference. Now, uh, last week I talked about the positions of a noun. The positions of a noun in a sentence. Okay. Three positions you should remember. Remember. What is the first position you should remember? Subject. You should remember the subject position. Okay. What's the second position you should remember? Object of a verb. Yeah. So if the noun follows the verb, right? The name, the position is called object of a verb okay what if it follows what if the noun follows a preposition then object of the preposition it is the object of a preposition so these are the three these are the three positions you should remember okay all right so today we will talk about the subject position and the object subject versus object position, okay? All right, uh, Muhammad Ali, can you read this? Yes, uh, subject and object pronoun can be uh, can, uh, confused uh, on the TOEFL test, so you should be uh, able to recognize these two types of pronouns. Now, recognize the meaning, I think, is very similar. It's similar to distinguish. Right? When you recognize it, you know the difference. Right? You see and know. If you recognize. Okay? Abdul Majid, looks like you're thinking about something. Is this is this the right thing? Is this the right word or the wrong word? I think it's the right word, but I think there's a better word to write as it's uh, a Send it to me in the chat. Send it to me in the chat. Okay. Send it to me in the chat and then I'll change it. If everybody agrees. All right. So now, uh, Muhammad Ali, it says they can be confused on the TOEFL. What does that mean exactly? They can be confused. We will lose math on it if we don't know it. If they can be confused on the TOEFL, yeah. that means that they sometimes, they put the wrong pronoun. Do you understand? <laughs> they sometimes put the wrong pronoun. Maybe they should put the subject, but they don't. They put the object or the opposite, right? The opposite. Maybe they should put the object pronoun. But instead, they put the subject pronoun. Okay. What do you think, guys? Do you agree with Abdul Majid on this one? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We'll go with that.
Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the chart now. So, uh, Abdul Majid, start on the the first subject pronoun. I, me, you, you. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. So, well, how many sub? Well, first, how many subject pronouns do you see here in the chart? Seven. Seven. Okay. How many object pronouns on the right side? Seven. Also seven. Also seven, right? Okay. So let's just begin with the first one, subject, and then the object. I is the subject, and the yeah. object is me. Exactly. Okay. So Mohana, how about the next one? Subject is you. Yeah. So the object is you. Oh. So how do we... How can we distinguish? Maybe the position. Yes, look at the sentence and think about it. Where is it, right? You have to think about it. Where is it, right? When it's at the beginning, when it's at the beginning of a sentence, then? It's subject. Yes. If it follows a verb, or if it follows a preposition, then object. Then it's the object. Exactly. Okay. All right. Do another one, Mohana. He uh, and him is the object. Yeah. Good. And then Jaffer. Uh, she uh, and her the object. Can I put uh, Jaffer? Can I put this one after a preposition? Can I put um, it after a preposition? No. For example, to to she or from she? No. Or to with her, she? From her. Yeah. To her, from her, with her. Okay. And then do another it, one. It also it. The object it. Can I can I uh can I place this word after after a preposition? Yeah. But oh, yes. Why? Because it's the same spelling. So you can. So how do I know, though? How do I distinguish if it's subject or object? How can I distinguish this one? Uh, after the verb or the preposition, it is an object. Yeah, so you distinguish it by the position, right? Yeah. You distinguish it by the position. Okay. All right. Next, uh, Sultan al -Nazi. Uh We, us, uh, they, them. Good. Can I, can I put this word? Can I put this word after uh, a preposition? No, we can't. No. We should put them. Exactly. How about this one? Uh, also, we can't. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see. Faraz and Muhammad, hands up. All right. Next. Let's see. Muhammad Ali. Uh, a subject okay. pronoun is used as the subject of a verb, and oh. object pronoun can be used as the object of a verb or the object of uh, a preposition. Right, so you see the object can be, it can follow. When is it, when do we call it this? When do we say that, uh, uh, object of a verb? They follow a verb. Right, and when do we say this? Follow a preposition. That's right. All right, Mohana, I want you to read these two examples and explain the changes. Okay, so they gave the book to John. Uh, Sally is the subject. Yeah. So we can replace it with she. Can I can I use uh, her? No, because it's the no. It should be a subject. Yeah, we want the subject position. So you must choose the subject pronoun. Continue. Yeah. Uh, give it the book is the object of verb. Yeah, it follows a verb, so it's the object of a verb. Yeah. 
And that's why we put it, change to it, right? Yeah. To him uh, is the object of uh, preposition. Bingo. It's the yes. object of a preposition. Okay. All right. So now let's go look at this example down here. All right, Jaffer. Yes. Now, can you guess why I put an X, two X's? I'll give you okay. one guess. Okay. Uh, um, why, why is there an X? Okay. Why? Why is there an X here and here? Is it on? Okay, there you go. Do the first one. Okay. Uh, him and the girl are going showing. Uh, now, 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 just a moment before you continue. I will, I will say this. Him and the girl are going shopping. It is possible. It is possible to hear a native speaker say that. Yeah. It is possible to hear a native speaker say this, okay? In spoken language, informal language. But you lose marks in TOEFL if you use this order or this pronoun. You understand? Yeah. yeah? You cannot choose this uh, to be the correct answer in TOEFL. In spoken language, it happens. But if you do this in the TOEFL, you lose marks. Okay? So how do we fix it then? Uh, change him to uh, he. Bingo. For the subject. Why is that? Him is? What is it? Him. What kind of a, what kind of pronoun him? Subject. What kind of pronoun? Him is an object pronoun, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Abdul Majid, I want you to do the second example. The, the gift was intended for you and I. Uh huh. Where's the so, problem? The problem is with the uh, I. We should uh, replace it with the, the object. Yeah. It is. Yep. Now, why should I use me? Why? Because? Um, it is an uh, object and it is uh, followed by uh, the, the position. Well, we have a preposition for you and I. How about this? Can I, should I change this one also? No, just leave it as it is. Yeah, because it's always the same, right? Subject or object, it's always the same. Okay, there you go. So we'll move the X over here. Okay, all right. Let's go down. Exercise 43. Gentlemen, Faras, what do we do? Circle, Circle the Circle. pronouns. Indicate correct C or incorrect I. Yeah. Can you explain the first one? The worst problem with it that he cannot afford it. Yeah. Explain each circle. Um, this, uh, it is a subject. Is, uh, is a verb. Is it a subject? No, is it a verb? Look up here. Maybe a subject or an object. So how, how do I decide? Anybody? Is any, any, can anyone help? Muhammad, what do you think? Preposition. Muhammad? Object for the preposition. Yes. Follows a preposition. So if it follows a preposition, then we know if it follows a preposition, we know it is the object. Why? It follows a preposition. All right now, here... This is called a connector. After a connector, 
we need a new subject, right? So can you explain this for us? It must be a, a subject because uh, it's a new thing. Yeah, yeah. It follows a connector. So we use a subject pronoun. And then explain this one. Uh, for it, uh, it, I think it's a uh, verb. A verb? No, no, subject. <laughs> Subject? Position, verb, object. Which position is it, you guys? Tell me the position. Uh, object. Uh, object uh, below the verb. Yeah. You'll have three choices. If it's a subject, then it comes at the beginning. Uh, choice number two, right? It follows a verb, then it's the object of a verb. Choice number three, it follows a preposition. So it's the object of a preposition. So what does it follow a preposition? No, no, it's no. Follow the verb. Is it at the beginning of a sentence? No. No. So what does it follow? A verb. So what is it called if it follows a verb? Object of a verb. It's the object of a verb. Okay. And it is correct. All right. So, Mohammed, can you explain number two? It is so stay. Don't I... read it. Don't okay. read it. Just, just explain the subject. Today is a subject. Okay. Subject. Yes. So, Steve and I. Uh... Okay. Now, why is this ex example incorrect? What's the reason? Because uh, Steve. Uh... Uh, okay, uh, it should be uh, object for the verb. That's right, object of a verb. We have the verb, Me. Steve and I. Me. You can't say Steve and I, right? It should be what? Steve and me. Exactly, Steve and me. Gentlemen, start. Uh, wait, I'm going to, uh, the poll. Let me, let me give you the poll, okay? Here we go. Um... All right, begin now. You got three minutes. You have uh, eight questions. Uh, start from the beginning, see and I then uh, yeah, so, number one, you put correct. Number okay. two, you put incorrect, okay?
All right, gentlemen, quickly choose your answers. We're running out of time. Five, four, three, two, one, finished. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, gentlemen. So the first one, oh, 100%, good, correct, well done. Number two, yes, very good. You got the right answer, incorrect. Now let's take a look at number three. Ah, uh, somebody said it was incorrect, but most of you, I'm sorry, most the opposite. Most one of you said correct, but most of you said incorrect. Good. Number four. Let's see. Most of you think all of you think it's correct. Excellent. Number five. Uh, one person correct. The rest of you said incorrect. Number five. Let's see. Bingo. Number six. Everyone agrees, it's correct. Seven, everybody agrees on seven. Eight, eight, mm, most of you say it's incorrect. Let's see, yes, it is incorrect. One person said it's correct. Number nine, okay, most of you said it's correct. Let's see, good, and 10. Also, most of you said incorrect. Well done, gentlemen. So most of you did very well on this, uh, on this exercise. Now, let's, uh, Abdul Majid, can you tell me, where do I put the circles? Let's put circles now. In number three. You. Um, All right, you, and then what? Um, they. Huh? They. Can you see the mistake here? E yeah? Them. Them. It should be them. Okay. Oh, what do we have over here? Me. Hmm. I think me goes up. Me goes up here, number one or two. All right. So we'll move this one over here. Me. Okay. And we'll put an X here. Okay. And then you said, this is wrong, right? They? Yeah? Why is it wrong? Because uh, after the preposition, you should uh, write uh, the object. Then. Yes, we want to use them. OK? Let's, uh, let's, look, let's look down at number five. Let's skip four. We'll come back to number four. But let's look at number five right now. Uh, Sultan, where do I put the circles in number five? Uh, yeah, in number five, you put it. Uh... In uh, I. Okay. And, and then uh, you. Right. And, and you. Uh, and here. Okay. Her. Yeah, also. No, just that. There we go. So we just have three circles, right? I. Okay. So what's the problem then? Yeah, we shouldn't put here. We should put uh, a sheet. And why? What's the reason? Uh, the reason is a subject, not uh, an object. Why do we? Why should we use a subject though? What's the reason for that? Uh, yeah, we have a connector wall that we need the, the subject for that. For, uh, the connector wall. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Rich, uh, could I leave now? I yeah, yeah, no problem. Question. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Um, let me see. What has disappeared here? Oh. Let's see. What do we have here? Ah, there we go. She. Okay. So we'll move she over here. All right. Let's skip six and seven. Let's skip six and seven. Okay. Uh, Jaffer. Yes. Where do I put where do I put the circles in number okay. in number eight? Uh, it. It is. I want to put circles around it. Is this a pronoun? Uh, 
yeah. Abdul Majid, do you no, agree? No. no, 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 no. It's not. Ah, it's not a pronoun. This is called an adjective. It describes the printer. Whose printer? Okay. So it's not a pronoun. Can you find a pronoun though? Uh, okay. Uh, tell me, tell me where to stop. Ah, there we go. Huh? Do you see the pronoun? Do you see the problem? Yeah. What is it? Uh, before uh, they should be they. We need a subject, right? We want a subject pronoun. So what am I going to use? Okay. They. Okay. All right. Let's do number 10. Misha. You or her. The circles. So you. you her, and then. Huh? Her, her, they. Ah, her. Okay. And then. They. They. Oh, you guys, what do you see here? Huh? What do you see here? Out. Oh. Did we learn this? Did we study this at Headway? Yes. I think so. Unit one. Different. Remember the modals in yeah. unit one? Yes. This is a modal. What does it mean? Should. Should. Ought to return, should return. Okay. So where is the problem here? Why is this one incorrect, gentlemen? Hmm? It's incorrect. Uh, incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Where's the problem? Where is it? Is this a problem or no. this one or this one? Her should be she. Aha. You want to use she. Yeah. There you go. We're going to put she. Okay. All right. Very good, gentlemen. So uh, very quickly, where do I put the circles in number four? Help me out, guys. Uh, her. her? Is this yes. a pronoun? Or an adjective? Adjective. It's an adjective. So where's the pronoun? Find the pronoun. He. Good. Okay. How about number number six? She. Six? Okay. She. And? It. It. Okay. And? It. Good. Uh, it. Mr. Uh, it. Yes, Jaffer. Uh, why her uh, is not a uh, pronoun? This? Yeah. We will study another skill tomorrow. Skill 44. You will see this word. It can be a pronoun and it can be an adjective. Okay. In this case, does it replace? Does it replace mm. a noun? Well, no. It if you take a person's name plus the S, because you want to show the owner of something, this is actually an adjective. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So that's why that's why it's not a pronoun. Abdul Majid, yeah. Well, uh, that's another question. Why yes. we couldn't why we couldn't uh... Say correct yeah. question about it before. Say what? Uh, why we why we couldn't say uh, uh, correct instead of correct. What's for number eight? It? Yes. What do you see here? Before. Don't we have to write? Uh, is this is time? this? But is this a look at this word? Is this word? Is this word? A preposition or is it a connector? I think it can be both, right? 
That's right. But it can be a connector or it can be a preposition. But look at this example. In this, in this case, it's a connector. So after the connector, we want an, another subject, right? You see that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in seven, where do I put the circles in seven, you guys? Me. Me. Right? Yeah. Why? Why do we say me? Object. It follows a verb, right? Yes. Okay. And then? I. 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 And uh, is this an object pronoun? It's no. a subject. It's, a, it's not an object, right? It's a subject. And why? We have a new sentence, right? All the information that I needed to make a decision, right? How about number eight? Where do I put my circles in eight? Them, them. Here? No. Oh, uh, we already did. Sorry, we did eight. Number nine. How about number nine? He is you. Huh? What kind of pronoun? He. Subject. 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 And then? You. You. With you. you. Is that okay? You? Yes. Okay. And then? Me. Uh huh. Is that okay? Yes. Why? Because uh, it is uh, on a verb. It follows a preposition, right? Yes. You and me. And then one more circle. You. 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 Now, is this one a subject or object? You. Subject. That's right. It's a subject. Because we have a connector, you see. There's a connector. Then we have another subject. All right, gentlemen. Okay, you guys. That's all today. Thank you, Dr. Boyle. Gentlemen, see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>